Hey there, YouTubers. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to Excel VBA is Fun. This is Dan Strong, and uh, today we had a question. Hey, can you make your own custom function uh, using the letters VL instead of typing out VLOOKUP? And although typing VLOOKUP is as easy as typing equals VL and just hitting tab to autocomplete, I thought, hey, that sounds like an interesting challenge, so why don't we try to do that? So basically, um, here's how the normal VLOOKUP lo uh, acts. I've already named this range by highlighting this small range, clicking in the named range, and I typed my table, and I hit enter so that it has the named range my table. We can use that to reference these cells here. Anyway, normally, let's say you wanted to look up artifact. I'm going to type AR is the code for artifact. And then I'm going to say equals V lookup. So tab. Uh, the lookup value is AR or whatever's in this cell D4. You hit a comma. The table array we've given a special name. We called it my table. So I'll hit tab to autocomplete. Comma. The column index we're looking for is not column 1 of our range, but column 2, the word artifact. So 2, and finally, we want a, an exact match, so you could type in false, you could double click here, or just uh, 0 is also false, in parentheses. So you see that it looks up AR and finds the word artifact is in column 2 of that range. So that's a normal VLOOKUP. We had to spell the whole word VLOOKUP. Instead, we're going to try to get that to work with just the letters VL. So equals VL. So let's get it started in, uh, in the Visual Basic Editor. You hit Alt F11, and now we're in the Visual Basic Editor. So the current workbook is this one here. I don't think we have any modules really. So let's create a new module, something that we can keep some codes in separately. Right here, here's module number one. So we're going to say sub, that's the beginning of a sub procedure. That's basically just all you have to type right before you give it a name. Sub, uh, no, excuse me, we're not doing a procedure, we're doing a function. So we're going to say function and give it a name. We're going to say VL. And then hit your parentheses. And you're going to have your, we're going to have arguments. You don't have to have, sometimes you can just put a function like this. And if there's really no arguments, like if you want the current date and time, well, now does that. Anyway, we're going to put four arguments, the same four that a VLOOKUP has. We're going to cheat and build off of the regular VLOOKUP. So we're going to say, how about um, RNG, comma, range as variant. We're going to go ahead and declare that as a variant so we'll know that it can be anything. The first thing is the, well, let's look at that again. The first thing in a VLOOKUP is the lookup value, so we'll say value, array, index, and type. Oop, let's see here. Let's go back to our Visual Basic Editor. So the first one is the val, so put val. Then we'll do uh, ary as variant um, index as variant, and finally the I'll just say t or f, true or false. I know it's pretty sloppy, but whatever. Okay. So now um, at the very end of the function, when we get the answer, we're going to say uh, the name of the function, you always put the name of the function equals and then whatever the result is. So VL equals and then wh whatever in the world you're doing there. This one is pretty standard but you're basically going to do is you could probably do a one-liner. VL equals application dot worksheet function dot V lookup and we're going to use these four arguments using a normal VLOOKUP and just shove it in the VL. So we'll take that whatever's the VAL is argument 1, whatever's the ARY is argument 2, whatever they said for the index is argument 3, and T or F will have that as argument 4. And I think that's pretty much it. We should test that for errors. Let's see if it works. Who knows? So now I'm going to type AR and we're going to say equals VL a custom function. Uh, 
Now it doesn't have the little helping guidelines here like the normal built-in functions do, but we happen to know that we want to use this as our reference, comma, and we want uh, the range called my table, comma, we want column two and we want zero, an exact match. Now if I hit enter, let's see what happens. It looks like, and we can debug this to see what happens, I'll go ahead and put a stop marker right here on the function. That way whenever we re-trigger it by hitting enter, it will stop right in the middle of it. It's called debugging. So if we hover over val, the ver um, this is a variable that took on the value of ar. This one, um, it, that's the array, so you can't hover over it and see it. INDX took the value of 2, and T or F took the value of 0, which we know is uh, an exact match. So all it did was an application.worksheet function. Uh, it basically took VLOOKUP, and we just shoved AR as the lookup thing. This is the array. We wanted column 2, and we wanted uh, a 0, an exact match. And we shoved it in VL, which is the function that we're using. And whenever we hit F8, to it shows the artifact is the answer and then it ends the function and that's what you have in your cell so let's try that let's try typing IC here and this is the regular VLOOKUP now let's type IC in the VL okay now just to emphasize just to drive the point home if we wanted to change that function we could change it we could say we could say equal Barbies so I'm gonna say equal Barbies function barbies control c control v so barbies equals the vlookup that we just did so now the vl is no longer going to work because our function is now called equals barbies and now barbies is now our vlookup if you want to vlookup something you have to type in barbies or you can use the original vlookup right here of course but uh, just goes to show you, you can do quite a few things when you can uh, make your own functions. So, very interesting, very interesting. All right, well, thank you so much for tuning in, and um, be sure to subscribe. We've got lots of new lessons coming out all the time. I'm getting questions that I'm answering, and then I'm making up new topics all the time on VBA. In this one, we made our own custom functions. VL or I guess Barbies now. Anyway, be sure and download this workbook. You can play around with the codes that I just did. Uh, it's called VL instead of VLOOKUP. The Dropbox link is in the video description. Thanks for watching. God bless.